Hi, thanks for joining me for this week's quick business tip. Today we're going to talk about bringing clarity to your marketing message because clarity is essential when it comes to attracting and retaining customers. But many businesses fail when it comes to providing that clarity that they need to resonate with their ideal clients. If you don't have clarity, that's going to cause you to miss out on potential customers and ends up costing you money. I don't want that to happen to you. So here are a few red flags that might indicate that you need to do some work when it comes to clarifying your marketing message. The first red flag is you are not targeting a specific audience. If your marketing message is selling to everyone, all homeowners, anyone who needs, if these are words that are coming out of your mouth when you're talking about your customer, um, they're all red flags. And if you aren't tar targeting a specific audience, your message is going to end up being too broad. When it's too broad, it also becomes too vague or too complex, and your ideal customer is much less likely to engage with your business or purchase your product or service. If you're, another red flag is that you are not differentiating, your, differentiating yourself from your competitors. The market is crowded right now. And it is crucial to set yourself apart from your competitors. If you don't have a clear marketing message and you're not highlighting your unique selling proposition, um, you are not going to be setting yourself apart from your competitors. Uh, and if it appears as though you are the same as all your competitors, then it doesn't matter who your customer does business with, and they may not do business with you, leading to more lost business. The third red flag is if you are not building trust with your ideal client. Trust is essential when it comes to marketing, and if your message is unclear, your target customer may assume that you don't understand their needs or you cannot solve their problem. And once again, this leads to more lost. The red flag that I see the most often is that you do not have a call to action. The ultimate goal for any marketing message is that it brings sales into the business. And without a clear call to action, your ideal customer may become confused about what you're offering, unclear on how to take the next step or unclear as to what value you bring. Anytime your ideal client is unclear, that confusion is going to lead to lost business because your ideal customer is going to go somewhere else. And if they find someone who just simply tells them what steps they need to take to buy or tells them simply to buy, they're more likely to do business with them. So now that we know the red flags, how do we fix them? How do we bring clarity to your marketing message? The very first thing that you have to do is you have to define your target audience. It's really important to know who you're talking to. And once you have a clear audience, you're able to better understand their needs, their pain points, and their motivations. And by having this information, you are able to create a message that resonates with them, that speaks directly to them and the problem that they want to solve. This will increase your sales. You need to be clear and concise. Your marketing message needs to avoid jargon and complicated language. Your marketing message is not where you want to let everyone know that you have an MBA or a master's. Um, this is when you can get really lost in the weeds and you can start talking in language that is over your client's head or is causing them to think too much. If you make your client think too much, 
they're going to go to someone who doesn't make them think and makes it super easy to buy. So by using simple language that is easy to understand and getting straight to the point, by focusing on how your product and service solves the problem for your ideal customer, you will bring clarity to your marketing message and increase your sales. Another thing that you can do to bring clarity to your marketing message is that you can provide social proof. So you build trust with your ideal client by providing customer testimonials, case studies, and reviews. This helps them feel more confident in their decision that you've done this for other people, you've solved other people's problems that are similar to theirs, and it builds trust with your brand. So just to wrap up, not having a clear marketing message is costing you business. It is essential to define your target audience, highlight what makes you unique, be clear and concise, have social proof, and a direct call to action. By doing these things, you will create a marketing message that resonates with your target client and sets you apart from your competition, not only building trust, but driving more sales to your business. If you'd like some help bringing clarity to your marketing message, schedule a free consultation with me. It's really difficult to try to read the label from inside the pickle jar. And that's what a lot of businesses are trying to do when they go it alone. So whether you get help from me or someone else, you don't have to do it on your own. Growing your profits doesn't have to be difficult, and I would love to help get you on the right path to exponential sales growth. I'm Jennifer with Who's Your Web Chic. Come back next week for more quick business tips.